Anyway, Wayne, of course, <laughs> is one of this country's most successful designers who grew his multi-million pound empire quite literally from a second-hand clothes store a couple of miles away in Camden Market 35 years ago. Along with his childhood sweetheart, now wife Geraldine, they transformed our view of previously owned garments into what well, everyone's into these days. Vintage, isn't it? Vintage, vintage. They sold their award-winning fashion label, Red or Dead, in the 90s, leaving Wayne free to turn his talents from clothes on your back to the roofs over your head, designing affordable homes and regenerating our urban wasteland along the way. But it's big ships that bring you here this morning. Yeah, Transatlantic 175, where um, I'm kind of the creative director of a big festival in Liverpool on the 4th and 5th of July, all across Called the water. Called Transatlantic 175. Yeah, we're, we're celebrating the 175th anniversary of the first passenger, passenger crossing from Europe to America, and we're celebrating the links between Liverpool and Europe uh, and, and New York, and we're, we're doing it through music, fashion, art, design, film, uh, ev everything about creativity. We've got... The weekend's going to be amazing. I, I reckon we'll get about half a million people uh, across, ooh, ooh, ooh. across the water. I was there... It's 4th of July is, 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 is the main, it's main the, event. The main, yeah. the main day, yeah. I mean, I was there a few weeks ago for... Um, you know, they had the three queens. You probably, you probably saw it in the press where they got the they three... Were ships. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know that. Yeah, yeah. Three, yeah. They, got the, they got the three Cunard liners, the big famous ones, to, to sail down the Mersey. A million people turned up for it. The city is looking... Liverpool is just... A city walking I, with a swagger at the I, moment. I, I was up there just, just before Christmas and I've blown away. I mean, I've a, always loved the people, yeah. but it's actually it's a it's a, the water side. The, thing, it, the it? waterfront is amazing, yeah. and da down from well, it's just everywhere. It's down from the Albert Dock, and then the regeneration that's taking place up at the old Docklands, the the, area, the Titanic Quarter, I think they call it, and then they've got this really cool youthful area uh, called the Baltic Quarter, and then in the centre of that they've got Liverpool One, which has reconnected the city down to the waterfront, and it just feels like this great European city, and it's... We're love it. We're just we loving working there. Just... You know, I've lived there for 12 yeah. years, and it's a city on fire, and, it's, and, and, and as a city, we do these events as good as anybody in the world. These, yeah, the, these, giants the, 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 the giants... The giants and, and the waterside events are, are just magical. Just can I get this right? So, Transatlantic 175 is, is the party, an event you're throwing on the 4th yeah. side. There's a bigger festival going on, isn't there? Sort of some seven-week... Yeah, it's, we're, we're the final finale weekend of, of, a, of think, one, this thing called One Magnificent City, and we finish it off. The big thing that, that I'd like everybody to get involved is, it, it, on the Saturday, we're going to break the world record for the most amount of people on a catwalk. We're doing this thing called the Very Big Catwalk Show. And um, the world record is held by Mexico City, 3,083, yeah. I think. And we want to get 5,000, just put the record out of, you know, completely out of anybody's uh, reach. And any, anybody can do it. You, just... you don't have to, because I was going to say, if you've got stick thin models, you can get 3,000 on it... what a postage <laughs> stamp, couldn't you, really? So <laughs> we just, it's, it can be anybody. It can be community be a big groups. Catwalk if you use real yeah, people, yeah. Wayne. <laughs> so it's community groups. We've got like the fire service, we've got Fair. nurses, we've got bowling clubs. And it can be individuals who sign up to, to things. And you, you all get a few minutes training before you go on. You all, you all get your hair and makeup done. <laughs> you, you get T-shirts, you get gifts, and we just, we just get you on the catwalk to music, and, we, and there's, there's, like, a whole team of choreographers and hairstylists that get... So it's like doing a London... How long is it going to take to, to do I reckon show? it'll take two and a half to three hours. That's quite quick. Yeah. Yeah, two yeah. and a half to three hours. It's never. This has never on this scale. It's never been tried can in the I, world can I ask before. It's something interesting. How is it funded? All of this. Well, it's a combination of you get a sponsor. So we've got Very, who are oh, who the okay, Liverpool, okay. you know, Very.co.uk, or a Liverpool company, you know, with three and a half thousand employees there. So that's great. Okay, that so keeps it's, it's, it local. it's not public money. Oh, so, there, there's always there's always well, public there's always public money. 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 You always get public money because what it does, they kind of use public money to bring people into the city and they spend money. Absolutely. You know, and it, and it, these things have positive... I think Liverpool has gone from being the 15th most visited city to the 5th most visited city in the UK. Since but, the year of culture. Since, the, since yeah. 2008, the year of culture. The, the, the amount of the billions that, that come in in terms of money to the city as a result of these, so they invest public money to make more money. And so, tourism is a big thing, but more than that... You know, you, I don't like to talk about it. Yes, these things make money for the city and for the people who trade there, but they give people happiness. Yeah, the vibe you know, that it's, these it's, things bring is it's, 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 it's happiness, priceless. that's what it's about. And we're on this earth to have good times and to do great things on a Saturday and to do great things on a Sunday and, and, and to work hard in the week. That's what life's about. And so if you can bring weekends like this to... to Tens of thousands yeah, yeah, yeah. of people. They're free, aren't they? These festivals Complete, are free. Completely free. Most of, nearly every festival that we put on, 
are free. And, you know, you can go there. We've got a, a, a bit of our vintage festival going on on, on the Albert Dock. We've got this festival called uh, Eat the Atlantic because we also found that the same route that the ships take from uh, Liverpool to, to Halifax, that's where they go, Halifax, Nova yeah. Scotia, not, the ships don't go to Halifax in Yorkshire. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, that'd be too hard. <laughs> but the same route, the, it's, the ships take the same route as the Atlantic salmon. So we're having a festival that celebrates salmon, literally a big, massive festival about that. On the Sunday, we've got Liverpool is being shut for the first time, some of the roads, for this thing called the Cavalcade, where we're celebrating it. We've got 175 classic cars from America oh. and, and the UK, and I know you're interested yeah, in classic yeah. bikes, going, going all around the streets of Liverpool. Yeah. We've just got so, so much okay. so much going on. It sounds absolutely wonderful. It's a shame I'm away at a 50th birthday. But there we go. Uh, what about some questions from you guys? Oh, well, I could talk to him all day. I could talk to him all day long. I'm a huge yeah. fan of him. It's fantastic. The programme finishes at 11, like. Yeah. <laughs> like, John, it's like John Lennon said, there's lots to do in Liddypool. But do you, do you, when you go up there, do you still feel that Beatle vibe? I feel a vibe of uh, independence, and I think that's what the Beatles mm -hmm. were. When, when, remember, people forget, because they're so famous, and everybody... Sometimes people get a bit jaded about, about the Beatles, but they were so revolutionary and continued to be all, all the way through, and all the way through their careers, really. And I know Liverpool, you know, from growing up in Lancashire. I used to go to... One of my favourite clubs was Eric's, where, where you'd see punk bands, but also the soul clubs in Liverpool. Liverpool was always probably the coolest city in Lancashire. Um, it always people made an effort for dressing up. Pe people adopted new styles and new music very, very early. And I think it stems back to there was these guys called the Cunard Yanks who, in the fifties, used used to uh, get jobs on the Cunard liners so they could get to America. Uh, and and they they developed a mid a mid Atlantic accent, but they would come back with amazing clothes, all the zoot suits records, and everything. Yeah. They come back with the with the vinyl records. The famous thing is that there's a picture of them. Uh, carrying the first jukebox to come into the yeah. UK was carried on the shoulders off a ship. Mm -hmm. And John Lennon and that lot used to wait, yeah. used to wait, buy the records yeah. off, off these Cunard Yanks. And so it was the coolest music from America came in via Liverpool, and that's why it, it's got a city that's so sharp and so independent. Mate, and, it make, and it makes the theme of the festival uh, even more. It does, that, yeah. yeah, I have to ask, do you...